All right, my favorite program has just had an update. Uh, Gnome Do uh, and with Docky, okay. So they're actually trying to catch up with uh, you know AWN and and uh, Cairo Doc and all that because they have Docless now, and it looks I guess prettier I would say, and they do have some things that you know give it a nice touch. Like for instance, if you minimize something, it'd be like kind of like graded out, okay. So you know the difference which one's activated or not. You see, it has a, a pretty color here. And if you minimize it, uh, yeah, it's, it's darker. Okay, so you can see it better. And uh, they do have some uh, stuff in here. Let me see. You go to preference. Now in here they have um, almost the same shit, but the keyboards they have more um, shortcuts for it now. Uh, it depends on the plugins you use, you know, and then you can use uh, these hot keys. Uh, so it's good. Okay. And uh, for the plugins in here, uh, it's still the same stuff. Um, but now they have the inclusion of docklets, uh, which is cool. Okay, kind of like AWN, where they had like the the little applets and whatever. Uh, same thing, same deal. Uh, you have the weather, which uh, I've been waiting for that. And uh, they have some other other ones, but not really that special right now. Okay. And uh, the appearance, they they change a few things. They used to be here, okay, but they don't. They shorten the list and they put it, the features in here. So if you know you want the dock here, you have to use a uh, dock here, right? And as they have some uh, show results and stuff like that, but uh, that's not really important. Uh, now that you have the the option of getting on uh, top or bottom of the you know your docky, uh, which is also cool. And uh, hiding here, this is pretty cool. Um, they have auto high and this new one they call it intelligent high. Uh, this intelligent high is um, pretty cool. So let's say, um, let me see something. Let's say this, right? You see how um, you have this, and then you still have the dock, right? But let's say you f uh, full screen it, then it'll hide it. See, it'll auto hide it. So that's the intelligent hide. It only, um, you know, appear when uh, the windows is not like uh, maximized. So let's say this window is not maximized. The dock is still here, right? But you go back to this one, this is maximized and it's disappeared. So that's the intelligent one. So I, I really dig that one. Okay. And uh, let me see. Let's go back to that. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, you can do the, the, uh, the you know icon size if you like from here. And it will increase the, the size. Uh, or you can do the, the zoom if you want to do the fisheye zoom. Let me see um, the fish eye zoom right there. Uh, that's really not that important. Uh, there's another way to do this icon size. You don't have to actually use it here, but uh, I don't think a lot of people know about this one. You can actually drag this this thing right here. This is the separator right here. Uh, drag it up, and that's how you would increase it. Say, I drag it down, decrease it. Um, so that's like on the fly one. You can drag it from the side too, like right here in the side, and it will just expand that one out. See, uh, that's another way. Um, not really that obvious, but <laughs> there's a lot of secrets to this shit. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it. I uh, only the only, you know the main thing is the the intelligent hide, uh, the docklets. That's about it, all I see. But it, they they say like some of the the plugins is a bit improved also, so it's all cool, you know. And if you want to get it, you have to add in the the PPA. Uh, I'll post it on the side somewhere. And uh, after you do that, um, you want to uh, you know install the GNOME Do of course, the plugins and the docklets if you want all all the all the stuff. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the update for this. That's it.